Hey everybody, in this video you're going to be learning why cortisol may be destroying your thyroid gland. Hey everybody, it's me Amir. So we're talking about how stress can actually impact your thyroid gland. Now when we look at this, the first component about a healthy metabolism is your hypothalamus. Now your hypothalamus is like your master computer. It sends out signals throughout your body and it tells your body what it has to do. Hypothalamus will send a, a signal called thyroid stimulating hormone to your thyroid gland. It's shaped as a, you know, like a butterfly right here. Now your thyroid gland produces something called T4. Now T4 is a compound that will go throughout your body and be transformed into T3. Now, T3 is that active form that you need in your body to become healthy, okay? Rewind that for a second. T3 is the active form. T4 is not the active form, okay? So you want high levels of T3, or I should say normal levels of T3. Now, the problem today's time with the thyroid gland is a lot of practitioners, a lot of people are looking at the thyroid and not really looking at what is causing what. So there's something else though you should be really concerned about is RT3. So it's T3 reversed backwards, right? So your body doesn't know what to do with it. It's looking at it and be like, wait a second. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. It just doesn't fit in right. You know, it's, it's reverse. It's completely backwards. And when you have backwards R, uh, RT3, it, your body does not compute your metabolism properly. So what causes RT3 is really cortisol. Cortisol will actually go to T3 and transform it into reverse T3. That's horrible. So when you have like high stress situations or if you have a pathogenic infection or if you're eating foods that are not good for your body or if you have heavy metal toxicity or if you have anything that's putting a burden on your adrenal glands, your adrenal glands are stimulating cortisol, your stress hormone. And cortisol now is going to T3 causing it to become RT3, reverse T3, and that's horrible. And why this is really important for you guys is if you do a thyroid panel or if you're doing some thyroid tests, your practitioner, your doctor will just look at standard numbers. They won't actually look at RT3, but like, oh yeah, you have, you have T4 levels are healthy, your TSH is healthy, but you gotta make sure to check your RT3 levels. Because if your reverse T3 levels are elevated, that's a good correlation that your cortisol is disbalanced. As you can see guys, cortisol is really, really important in controlling your thyroid gland and metabolism. Cortisol will reverse your T3 to RT3, therefore your hypothalamus doesn't compute properly with the rest of your body. With this information, we can really optimize and help your body maximize your metabolism. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today about how the thyroid gland is affected by cortisol. For more videos like this, all you gotta do is click the subscribe button and leave some comments. But wait, if you wanna catch my weekly videos with the top experts, my weekly newsletter, and everything crazy that I'm doing, all you gotta do is join the Optimo tribe at amirrosic.com and you'll be catching me every single week. Have a great day, guys.